All right, Kate, thanks. Philadelphia officials are warning people not to look to fire hydrants as a way to cool off in this dangerous heat. Jasmine Peyote is in Center City with more on what the city says is a growing problem this summer. Hi, Jasmine. It's hot, and as people find unique ways to cool off, the city is warning residents that if you're thinking about using a hydrant, it could cost you about $300. That's the old Hunter Park tradition. That's what we do when it gets too hot. We turn fire hydrants on. And with several of the city's pools closed, this old Philly pastime is being used more often. This summer, it's been a little bit more busy than usual. On par, we usually have about 100 per month in June, and we've had 176 in June so far. Uh, so it has been a little bit more of a problem. Brian Rodemaker says during the pandemic, the city sent crews to open hydrants for extreme heat purposes. But he confirmed to CBS3 the time honored tradition is no longer allowed. That was an extraordinary year, extraordinary circumstances, and we we're just trying to keep people safe when there was no pools or anything. People in Hunting Park say while pools have reopened, theirs was one of several that did not. A big problem as the area is known to have the hottest temperatures in the city. So losing the pool was actually a big blow. Um, we had planned on um, on using the pool for our summer camp and found out probably about three weeks ago that that wasn't going to happen. With no pools and hydrants out of the question, Chris Gale of the North 10 Linfest Center says this center, which includes a cooling room, is more important than ever. We have this big, beautiful building that we want to open up to our folks. So that's what we've done. We've said to our neighbors, come check it out. Um, come be a part of us. What's the point of being cool on an empty stomach? Gail says they have that covered too. It's a choice market. Folks can come in. It's free of charge. Um, can come in and shop for their food and get what they need. This month, the city says they will be giving cooling kits to about 100 blocks where keeping cool is a challenge. Reporting in Center City, Jasmine Payute, CBS3 Eyewitness News.